Okay, so now let's move on to question number six. So the molecular formula of acetyl salicylic acid is one of the most commonly used pain relievers. It has a chemical formula of C9H8O4. Calculate the molar mass of aspirin. Uh, and part B just asks, a typical aspirin tablet contains 500 milligrams of C9H8O4. What amount or moles of C9H8O4 molecules are there? And what number of molecules are in a 500 milligram tablet? Okay, so this is a multi-step question. And we're going to start by, first I'll just show the um, chemical compound acetyl salicylic acid. So it has a benzene ring. And it has chemical formula, C9H8O4. Okay, so first, part A asks to calculate the molar mass of aspirin. So to do that, we need to find the atomic masses of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And these can just be found on the periodic table. So now, to find it, it would just be 9 times the molar mass of carbon, plus 8 times the molar mass of hydrogen, plus 4 times the molar mass of oxygen. So now if we look at our periodic table, you'll see that carbon has a molar mass of 12 Point zero one grams per mole, and hydrogen has an atomic mass of one point zero one grams per mole. Lastly, oxygen has an atomic mass of fifteen point nine nine grams per mole. Okay, so if we sum up all the values, you end up getting 180.16 grams per mole for the molar mass of aspirin. So now part B, a typical aspirin tablet contains 500 milligrams of aspirin. So we'll write down the mass, which is 500 milligrams. And they're looking for both the number of moles and then the number of molecules of aspirin. Okay, so we know our mass is 500 milligrams. But if we look at the units of our molar mass, it is in grams per mole. So I'm just going to convert the 500 milligrams to grams. So it would be 0 0.5 grams. Okay, so now let's calculate the number of moles using the equation N equals mass over molar mass. So our mass is 0 0.5 grams, and molar mass is just what we found in the previous part, which is 180.16 grams per mole. Okay, so this gives us number of moles, which is 2.78 
times 10 to the negative 3 moles. Okay, so that's our first answer for part B. I'll just put it in like a box. And then to find the number of molecules, uh, since we already have our value in moles, all we have to do is multiply by Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole. So this cancels out our units in moles. And it gives us the number of molecules in 500 milligrams. So our answer is 1.67 times 10 to the 21 molecules. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The molar mass of aspirin is 9 times the molar mass of carbon, plus 8 times the molar mass of hydrogen, plus 4 times the molar mass of oxygen. And they had less decimal places, but still ended up with around 180 grams per mole. The number of molecules of aspirin in a 500 milligram tablet. Uh, so they show that it is number of moles divided by Avogadro's number equal mass over molar mass. Okay, so now they just did the 0 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 divided by 180. And they also got 1.67 times, uh, I think they meant 10 to the 21 molecules of aspirin. Still gonna say the solution is correct since they have the same values. but I think it was just a typo. So the solution...